Hey folks, going to talk to you today about the proper installation of the X300 Ultra Dash B. Same great light that you know of the X300 Ultra. This one has a new mounting feature similar to that of the X400 Ultra. This one's going to be coming with a T-slot as well as what you've seen before on the X400 Ultras with the wedge. So you have the universal wedge, which will be denoted with a U, or a Picatinny wedge, which will have a P on that, so that we can use your corresponding wedge as needed, depending on the weapon system that you're installing it to. So you just run the screw all the way out, that wedge walks straight up, then rotate that back down and in, and this will cam back over, cam out of space, and now we're ready, ready for installation. Talking about proper installation, first of all, Visual physical inspection on the firearm, being certain that it is unloaded itself. Now we're going to install the light. So placing the wedge in the corresponding notch of the universal rail in place, turning the screw down until it is tight and run into the rail. At this point, I'm gonna take my 10 cent tool and give that a little extra turn to make sure certain that is locked in. You can use a slot screwdriver, flatted screwdriver, coin, whatever option might be. At this point, I'm just gonna make sure that it is lined up and that it is tight on the system. And just similar switching, same thing, right? So down, constant, on, straight ahead for your momentary option. The reason why we went over to this style of mounting feature for the X300, this will fit on a wider range of weapon systems to include handguns all the way through Picatinny rail that is found on carbine rifles.